REST APIs are not good at getting things done, and my team and I stopped making them three years ago. I think the whole idea of RESTful was never really accomplished, and it is just kind of a cargo cult at this point. But why listen to a random guy on the internet on why RESTful APIs are bad? I have been in the IT industry for around 20 years and I started programming when I was around 5 years old. I had my own software house for the last decade and I am judged on what I can accomplish but not on how pretty uh, API is done. So I have done everything to try to optimize us for speed, productivity and robustness. Here's why we don't do REST in our company. And if you stick around to the end, you will also see what we're doing instead. Number one, REST uses uniform interfaces such as get, post, put, and delete. But when you think about it, why would you want to do this? When I make a function in a normal programming language, I don't call the function a put function or a post function. I just call it a really nice name. REST forces you to split up the definition of a callee to the interface like, you, you, like post or put or whatever, and the name. So now you have to combine these to figure out what it actually is doing. So it's kind of splitting your brain in two. And when you're having to communicate with another developer, you have to be very, very explicit and make documentation on what does this API actually do, because it's a little bit hard to understand. If I have a function called new user, it's very clear what it does. And I don't have to explain it. I don't have to make any documentation. Of course, some documentation can help, but in general, you can do it without documentation. Number two, REST forces you to use non-uniform data representations. What I mean with this is that when you want to call uh, API, what you're basically doing is you have different ways to send data over to that API. If I want to make a user, I can do a post and I can use JSON or XML. That's great. But let's say I want to delete a user. Well, I might have a delete and then I have slash users slash the ID of the user. So now I'm sending data to the server in a URL string not as JSON or XML. This have a few different problems. Let's say I want to delete a user by email instead of ID, then I can't really do that. And it gets even worse with gets because here I have to send it using query parameters. And this means that I have three different ways to send data to the API. And that means you have to think about this. How are you sending it? Why are you sending it this way? And it's kind of the same thing. When you just have a programming language, you have function parameters and you just put it in there. And there's no discussion about what kind of way I should send it. Of course, these are trivial things and you can make some standards and you can do this here, but it's a lot of work to just call something. Number three is that REST is based on resources, but it's not based. Not everything in life is about resources, but interacting with resources. For example, if we have a user, we have to have a post slash users to make a user. But what if a user can be created using an email or a username? Then we might have different APIs, but we can't really fit that into the RESTful API. Or even worse, if we have a social login, then it doesn't fit in at all because it might be something completely different. So now we're kind of not even making a REST API anyways. But let's say we want to reset a password. Well, how are you gonna represent that for resources? Well, you could have on users a slash, slash users slash reset password, but that starts to interfere with the put and the post of uh, updating or creating uh, resources as well. Now, of course, the proper RESTful API way could be that you represent passwords as a resource and now you can do different things on this, but it starts to become really weird and really nested and why are we doing this anyways? Instead of making RESTful API, we call it as it is. For example, we have user underscore create, user underscore login, user underscore reset password. These are very simple to understand. And then we just have the standard that we use JSON and we are using post. Now, this is not a RESTful approach at all. And um, people will find it ugly and nasty and it's a really bad approach to do it. But the thing is, it gets the job done. There's no communication between uh, developers. Like, are you using query parameters? Are you using anything? We don't have to set up Swagger and uh, use a lot of time on documentation because it's very clear. You send JSON, you return JSON, and you do a post. 
It's so simple. Of course, this is just for the API. You will still, of course, need the get for having a normal uh, website. But for APIs, just use post, just use JSON, and that's it. Tell me in the comments what you do. Have you given up on REST and what are you doing instead? I know there's a lot of approaches, but I think a lot of the approaches are very complicated where we just basically want to call some functionality on a server and that's what we do, remote procedure call. And I'll see you in the next one. That is of course if you're subscribed. So don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Woo!